We my henchmen. Gotta do this shit again. Don't underestimate me. Let's fight. No. I'll teach you a lesson. Imagine how much tobacco he has to put in that fucking thing. Special frog tobacco. No, I don't actually know how to think. Uh, it's called the Wacky Tobacky. Hey man, hurry, try hitting me. If you can land one punch on me. Look, I'm hitting him. Well, oh, okay, I hit him there. Also, he has a, he has multiple tongue piercings for some reason. Hey, he had to get a bunch. It's the in style for you Yakuza frogs. I find it really impressive how you say that out loud as water spewing out of your mouth. Oh, fuck. I can't tell if those shuriken are doing much damage to him. Probably not. Where's the water coming from? It's, he's just wandering, let's be real. Oh, you have that, you have that back for some reason. I mean, it's more useful than Rasengan for this, so... I mean, I haven't tried Rasengan yet. Maybe that would work. Oh, time for QTEs. Almost missed that one. That was close. How about this one? Bring down the hose! I mean, it's not that interactive, but their CyberConnect's QTE stuff is actually impressive. Just from yeah. a visual standpoint, at least, anyways. They also animated fail states for basically every QTE, so... That's a lot of work. Kinda makes you wonder what it was that they did wrong that made Square kick them off FF7. Might not have done much wrong, technically. They probably didn't figure that their style was good for FF7 or something. Well, yeah. It's also possibly too big of a project for them, let's be real. Well, it makes you wonder you know, it's FF7. You don't fuck that golden goose if you're square. Like, if they weren't certain of it to begin with. You know what I mean? I don't mm. know. I'm playing Archer. They also might have been working on only parts of it. Just like how Platinum only worked on parts of Star Fox Zero, but people keep saying that they made the whole thing. Yeah, and Tri-Ace worked on parts of the extra FF13 games. By the way, Lightning Returns totally isn't a reskin Valkyrie profile game. What are you talking about? No, shut up. We didn't reskin this game at the last second. Okay, that's kind of lazy that they just reused the same thing again. Oh, wait, no, this is different. Yeah, this is the final one. Oh god! Bonk. A million Naruto's go flying. Over 500, over 410 billion dead Naruto's. I finally punched him. You created a new ward. How was that? 
probably a boss fight where you have to do the Shukaku boss fight again. Or mission where you have to do the Shukaku boss fight again. Who again? Uh, the one-tailed Tanuki beast. Gara's monster form. Uh, All right. That thing. Gara's big one-eyed monster. You were too yeah, one-tailed, technically. We gotta beat it down. Yep, you I just suck in those flies, Naruto. Is this uh, music like what was in the series, or...? No, I OST? think this was brought up last time, but only like it's two games have ever managed to actually get the music from the show. Right, right, yeah, we did talk about Mission that before. Success. It was the Ubisoft made 360 games. That it still it still baffles me that you can get the licenses for the series and yet then you can't use other things from the same series. I don't know if any of the GameCube or Wii ones ever did though. Like uh that uh Mad Max game that came out a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, like that's I'm I'm pretty sure that was not Tom Hardy's likeness they used, right? I don't know. Even though it was clearly made around the same time to, you know, cross promote with the movie. They probably used more Mel Gibson's likeness. Or maybe they didn't pay him. I don't fucking know. Nah, that that model they used does not look like Mel Gibson at all. Huh. At, least, at least in my opinion. I could be wrong. I could be talking out of my ass. Ah, oh, Naruto won. He said handing me over to Yakutsuki would lead to future trouble. He then came after me I fell to the ground after using too much chakra. So, Orochimaru is not connected to the Yakutsuki. Um, he was a member originally, then he... Also, this is another boss fight. I, I think it's another giant boss fight. I just assume, like, for a long time, I just assumed Orochimaru was, like, the head of the Akatsuki way back in the day. And then it, it kind of threw me off. It's like, oh, wait, there's multiple villains? It's not just one big villain organization? Yeah. Orochimaru was originally a member, and then he quit. The village hidden in the leaves. Is the reason spoilers? Um, he quit because he didn't feel like he was able to accomplish what he was doing there. Also, I think he tried to take over Itachi, and Itachi said no, and that stopped that. What sort of half-baked daydream is that? Who cares about the Hokage? Also, in another line of uh, Harry Potter comparisons, the main one of the biggest villains is a snake guy. Yes. Count me out. It's a fool's game. Remember the Hokage that have come before, and all they risk. I hate how things are run, so I'm going to adamantly refuse not to run things my way. Oh wait, survived, I guess I will. Even prosper through such troubled times. This was their dream, and they were willing to gamble everything to achieve it, even their lives. We're a bra or something. Now on, I'm gambling Christ. Too. No, I'm we're in ancient ninja times, except for the VHSs and the computers. If you're so willing to throw your life away for one pathetic little brat, Oh, you might be playing a Tsunade for this fight. That's a... that'll be different, actually. <laughs> Tsunade! Where was Jiraiya during all of this? Ah, uh, he was there. It seemed oh, like only actually... Tsunade and Naruto were doing the fighting. I think he wanted Naruto to fight Kabuto to test his strength. Actually, what the fuck is this fight gonna be like? Also, Tsunade's spirit animal is a snail? Yeah, slug. Oh, it's a big slug. That's um, so the, cool. So the toad, snake, and slug thing is a reference to an old Japanese myth thing? Of course it is. Let's get started, shall we? As wow, lip-syncing! No there is no lip-syncing in this series. 
Manda. Manda. Oh, neat. That's different. Press the one to call them for support. Just like other support carriers, you can summon any number of times. I'll eat you alive, you Wait. Manda isn't played by Clancy Brown, is he? Um. Let me that, look. Maybe it's not, but his voice actor sounds really familiar. I forgot Mondi even. Oh, I think it's Tar. Oh, it's Richard at Tar. Oh, yeah, that's why it sounded familiar, because I've been playing a bunch of Kingdom Hearts lately. <clears throat> Throw these rocks back at him. Richard F. Carr's Ansem in Kingdom Hearts was a little ham, but then he got better in BBS and other games. I mean, concerning the position they're in, he does a fine job, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he's not Billy Zane, but, you know, it's hard to do that when Billy Zane just tapped out after one game. Which is surprising, because Billy Zane doesn't really do much these days. He wasn't doing anything at the time, either. He just coasted off that Titanic money. That's probably what he's still doing, let's be fair. <laughs> What's finished already? Are those dirt snakes? This is for you! This is definitely more interesting boss fight than the last two. Yeah, it's something, although it's kind of still not great. Yeah, compared to the later one, especially. Yeah, re just repeat this sound clip over and over. That should just win the fight. No, man, he's a tough snake. Although he'll probably be doing the last QTE here in a sec. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I've hit, I've hit it. The, the boundary. Even gone rot, you're still. You will rot here. Uh, that's pretty cool looking. Creepy looking, but cool looking. Yeah, the big slug that turned into goo. He turned into a billion slugs, basically. <laughs> Look at her just shoot everywhere. Shoot your goo, my dude. Get in my belly. Get out of the way, woman, so the man can save the day. Oh yeah, also he can do this. Why didn't Jiraiya become Hokage? Uh, he didn't want to. Well, neither did she. Yeah, but Jiraiya didn't want to really badly, so that's why it got he, he wanted it less more. And there goes Monda. All right, no, no. There it comes. <laughs> the sense of scale in the camera work is really good in these QTE scenes. Yeah. There was probably a lot of techniques they used to like shrink models and stuff. Yeah, if you look at it, it's like... What the mm -hmm. fuck? Can you just do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He can do that. <laughs> ah! Knock the fuck out. RKO out of nowhere. God is my witness, he has broken in half! What you don't see is Kabuto awkwardly shuffling off screen with Orochimaru's body afterwards. <laughs> and they just Going, oh god. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. How the fuck is Orochimaru able to do anything now that his arms don't work? Since they all have to do the dumb hand signs for the ninjutsu. Uh, he just has a fuck ton of modifications in his body. Even if you won't. And gets Kabuto to do most of the work. There are. Look, 
He's moving them. It's a Christmas miracle. What? And I will destroy the leaf village. Depend on it. I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks, <laughs> creepy Until Steve then. Bloom. Wait, that's Steve July. Bloom? July. Yeah. <laughs> wow, My he actually has range. Friends. He voiced a, uh... One of the classic cartoon ducks in one of the Harvey Birdman episodes. Yeah, it's just every time Steve Bloom, he's just Steve blooming it up, you know? He's just Wolverine or another character. That, or generic uh, soldier man. Yeah, basically. Who's Tsunade's voice actress? Go. Um, In this game, it's uh, Motoko Kusanagi, but normally it's Meryl from Metal Gear. Oh, really? Yeah. In every other game, she's voiced by Meryl, but in this one, they didn't feel like getting her VA back. Does David Hayter show up in Naruto? Um, he might, actually. There's what? a bunch of voice actors that don't normally do anime in Naruto because it was a big budget thing. What about, uh, gonna be the Colonel Campbell? Is he in here anywhere? Is, uh, uh, he also might be. Bothering you, Naruto? Come on. Nolan North actually voices a character in one of the games. Old man used to be, and she's mean and greedy and not that smart. Wow. Not personal, but it's a big job, and I'm not sure she's up for it. So is Naruto just doing like a reverse That's psychology it. thing here, or is he just being a shit? I think he's just being a shit. Outside. You're already outside. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Take five steps over here to get there outside. Go. It's deja vu all over again. Who? I feel like you told me before, but who's Jiraiya? I'm the Hokage now. Uh, so David Lodge. My time on some little Who that? Sport like you. Uh, what, what, what I know him. Hey, quit calling me squirt, all right? He does right, some you, other stuff. Yeah, you did actually tell me that before. Now that I remember, you said who else he was. Okay, no, he wasn't in. Uh, David Hater wasn't in Naruto. <laughs> No, but we do didn't do a voice acting, actually. Do you see David Hayter's coming back for Snake and Smash? Yeah, I saw him tweet about that. What? I guess they couldn't afford, uh, what's his face from 24 again? Keith or Sutherland? Yeah. To be fair, Keith did a You'll fine. He did an okay fine. job. He was fine. Yeah. Brilliant for the few lines he actually had. To be. To be uh, perfectly fair, they should have replaced yeah. David Hayter in three. Okay. Like, if they really That's wanted a different voice actor for the Did character, yeah. Finish? Yeah, if you wanted to change the voice actor, you should have done it then, not like 12, 15 years later and two, three games later, when it suddenly becomes weird that he changes. And we're done with this arc, and I think we have one left. We shouldn't have any others. Yeah. It's even weirder since uh, Richard Doyle played him in MGS4. Yeah. Mission accomplished. I'd have preferred if they got Richard Doyle back. He did really good for the few that cutscene. That the five minutes he was on screen. I read to that. To be fair, he monologued a lot in that cutscene. <laughs> he sure did. It was a it was a really good monologue though. Yeah, we're here! The Sasuke Retrieval Arc! Aren't you excited actually, to get Sasuke back? I actually really like this arc because it has some of the best fights, but I don't think this will happen in this game. Really? I, every time I hear people talk about it, everyone hates the Sasuke Retrieval Arc, because everyone hates Sasuke to begin with anyways, so... Sasuke wasn't a bad character until well into maybe part two. Also, you can turn that mission and see. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it now. I see it in C. Yeah, you got ten points. Hey, we yeah. don't have to spend more filler time. We got condensed filler. Tell me, tell me about some filler from around this time, if there was. Uh, there was a filler arc in between this, which kind of filled in some blanks and later became canon, actually, sort of? So it's actually useful filler. Yes, it was the fucking Great Tea Race. What do you mean, great? Like, someone was racing for, like, the drinking tea? 
No, it was the land of tea or something. There was a shit ton going on behind the scenes of the race. Like, so, uh, you, because uh, all I'm imagining now is just like an entire ninja country run by Mr. T from the the A the A team. Yeah, it works for you. Let's go. Tsunaya became the Hokage, and little by little, the village hidden in the lees started to settle down. Harasasuke was feeling frustrated with Itachi and Naruto. Eventually, he and Naruto came to blows. Oh, you get seven stag beetles for beating up Sasuke. But uh, Sasuke wasn't really that bad of a character at all until well into part two. Mm. Well, he, he's endemic of most of the other problems with Naruto, that people who commit horrible, horrible crimes are just forgiven without any kind of re... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, consequences to their actions? Oh, if you're talking horrible crimes from later on in the series, he only really killed one important person. Only one? Yeah, and uh, that, that wasn't really a bad thing that he killed that person. Um, We'll get into that later. Yeah, but he tries to kill some innocent people, I think. I don't know. We'll save that for later, like you said. He killed a bunch of grunts. But who gives a shit about grunts? <laughs> Yeah, we can forgive Frieza now, after countless trillions of people he's killed by that point. Do you see that Broly trailer? Uh, I haven't watched it yet. I hope we bring back Nappa eventually, to become Super Saiyan Blue Beard Nappa. I don't even need Super Saiyan Blue Nappa, I just need Super Saiyan anything Nappa. Whereas he just gets a massive beard, which is what I think happens in some of the fucking spin-off games. Maybe in that... What was it called? The thing that's getting its own anime soon? The thing that's just uh, a Dragon bunch of what-ifs? Yeah, yeah, that. The, the one that's filled with what-ifs? Yeah. Wait, why is Naruto fighting Sasuke right now? Um, Sasuke gets fed up after he sees that Naruto trained a lot. How dare you get better while I'm just sitting here? The actual reason it was just an excuse for him to fight, basically. I know. It's just, I'm just mocking how stupid it is. How dare you get strong while I sit here, not fucking Sa Sakura? It's a lot of work to pointedly not fuck her. Pretty much. Also during this fight, uh, Sasuke sees that he knows the Rasengan now and how much damage it can cause, and he realizes, well shit, I've fallen behind. <laughs> oh no, I couldn't just coast off of my fire breath forever. And his lightning Mission hand success. thing. Lightning. Uh, was was the friendship between Naruto and Sasuke that strong that justifies Naruto's constant insistence that he needs to save Sasuke? Well, they did save each other's lives numerous times before this, so. Uh, 302. Nope. Need to do more I think filler. There's some speed rank missions we can do. How, how about we make a game? How about I ask you to name, talk about a filler arc, and then you can decide to actually tell one or just make up one on the spot? You'll never, I'll never know. know. <laughs> how about uh, a filler and, arc? And I'll try. I'll try to. You, you name one, and I'll try to guess if it's real or if you just made it up. Okay, there's a filler arc where Naruto meets a girl, Sasume, or Sesame as I call her. And she's looking for her brother, who was the servant of Orochimaru, because he had no other choice. And then he turns in and they find him, and he turns into a butterfly because he can't control it, and they fight him. 
I was gonna I was gonna say that's probably real up until you said butterfly and now I'm not certain if you're fucking with me or not. No, that's real. Uh why the butterfly? Um because that's what he was experimented to turn into. It might have been a moth. That that's not much better though, so But why a moth or a butterfly? Those aren't Fuck useful. You. Those aren't useful in any way. Time to beat up some more women. It's what we do best here on this channel. When you're going on a diet, oh, those oh. women. You're not a gotta go on a diet. They'll have they'll have a they'll have the most sensual salad you have with the most with sensual dressing. Gift. This place is expensive. Alright. Actually, wait. Uh, go down on your D-pad or whatever. Yeah. Alright, there. There's the other selection of characters, most of which are not playable. Tell, tell me... Wait, I'm gonna take... The, the most nonsensical shit. Oh, you can select that now. Yeah. <laughs> to murder some girls with the Akatsuki in tow. Oh, you substitution jutsu at least three times, or two times. Uh, Land at least three extra hits on a downed enemy, so you gotta keep that in mind. Oh no, it's the bullshit. I to win. I've gone to the dark <laughs> side, Hinata. I'm gonna clobber you. I'm gonna you, you fucking Sith the words. Ah, fuck, fuck. I'll hit her down. Yep. Come on, get another one. Damn it. Okay, gotta knock her down. Oh. So he'll go straight from wherever she is when you start that meter. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Oh, that's bullshit! <laughs> yeah, caught her. Uh, how many extra hits did it say? Three? Uh, two, I believe. Or three. Yeah, because I gotta do substitution mm -hmm. twice. Yeah. Okay, just gotta hit her one more time. Okay, got that. Yeah. Now I gotta now let her. Yep. It, it's like pulling a slot wheel, because I can never get the timing right. Just mash. Oh, got one. Hey. Yeah. All right, time to beat the crap out of her. Oh my god, she's dead! Stronger and stronger! Naruto and his Sith Lords right behind him.